Hey everybody, Invisible Katana here, back again with what may or may not be the last episode of Prototype 2. Right. Oh, I didn't even get to read it, dang. Uh, I was like really excited to have the face-to-face the -face thing and everything, all that. Where's Maya? Safe for the moment. You're gonna tell me, either on your own, Chills. Or after I skull fuck you and drain your memories out the hole. <laughs> Scary. You just don't get it. <laughs> the dialogue. I gave man. you everything. And this it was getting is so serious and emotional. Can't you understand what I'm doing? Then it Humanity went back to is skull stagnant. fucking. That's hilarious. Die. I would give it one. Oh, he's about to like one squish mind. her or something. Think about it. No more conflict. Maybe. No more disease. No more suffering. Don't you see? I'm giving it a second chance. Enough of your fucking weird, fucking rambling shit. Give me my daughter. No, no, I don't think so. It's time you gave me something. You see, young Amaya shares your brand of annoyingly resilient DNA. And when she's ready, your daughter gonna bug will me. become the mother of the new world. So now the only thing standing between me and Earth's true destiny is you. Ah. Interesting. Holy shit. Hmm. I didn't see that coming. Him absorbing them to be Let's omega powerful. Over, but I'm totally not surprised that she died. Why does one give me this freaking blade? Faster. What? Faster. I'm using that. Okay. I I think the the point here. Oh jeez, he's moving me up right now. Yeah, right. French. I don't even like that weapon that much. Did I get you? And you're the one to beat, huh? Yeah, this is like <laughs> all I could think is like I've got to go with the hammer fist, cause uh this is like all I've got. Uh oh. I was actually supposed to press Y. Hammer fist are like the best mouth. ever. You really are a very crude person, aren't you? <laughs> no. Hammer fists are seriously like magic in this game. I mean, wow. Now I'm assuming he's just gonna like heal again or something. It looked like he was like sliding sideways. Oh crap! I, I... I'm too fast for you, asshole. Oh. Want me to slow down? I can slow down if you want. All right, I can do that. Two. Oh, Come I guess on, I shouldn't Ella. do that. Okay, so I have to use like other techniques against him. Alright. The claw. Oh, I'm about to die. Can I run here? Can I, can I leave? Sorry, <laughs> I'm like, uh, can I leave? Yourself. Can I go now? You're not dead. I, I'm also dead, though. That, like, me actually trying to leave to get more health is exactly what um, just killed me, so. Uh, I understand. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got nothing on me. I really gotta work on my what dang. Gotcha. <laughs> I love that it's just like 
I hardly even have to actually do anything. Oh crap! I was all right. See, you're beneath me. I was really not prepared for that. I thought for sure it was gonna be um. There. Oh what? Oh crap! I guess I shouldn't have been pressing X. Jeez. Come on, Heller. You could be the grandfather oh. of the new world. Now I know you're just trying to make me mad. Yeah. What was that you were saying about being better than me? How you like me now, you emo fuck? Hmm. <sighs> Gotta be honest. Don't know how in the world I'm gonna survive this without now, some. Now, Lexi. Oh crap. <laughs> that wiped the smirk off your face now, didn't it? Catch. Dodge that. Someone's getting desperate. I'm honestly scared to do anything outside of like the black moves. Oh crap. And he effing got me. He freaking did a double, a double whip at me. Okay, choose fight over fight. Max out your movement on grits. Um, I thought this was like giving me a useful hint, not like. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna hand you your bitch bit. ass on a platter. That's pretty much all I got. I gotta make sure I do. A lot of great timing. You should have kicked your ass days ago. Mm, let's check out to that. I just had to make sure I'm like, I'm pretty sure both the. Uh, what? Get out of the way. And do this. Hard to tell exactly which one is uh, a better fit for me, but it's good to like kind of switch them up anyway. How you like me now, you emo fuck? This is going much better. Okay. And block. Oh, wait, no, oh, dang, I screwed that up. Oh, no, I didn't. You should have stayed home. I'm curious what would happen if I didn't have, like, the right type of move for the Y button. What's it gonna do now? The big blade? Uh oh, no. Behold! My power! See, those are his hammer fists, which is actually kind of cool that they show the difference there. Like, the difference in their movesets, that's actually kind of awesome. Oh my goodness, I don't know what moves to use. <laughs> I, I'm basically 100% confused now. Uh... I think, I don't know if I can like... If I'm only allowed to like get him from the back, or what's he gonna do here? 
Oh wait. Happy landing. Yeah, I think it, it works no matter what the weapon, because that was whoopsie. <laughs> that was definitely not the weapon to really shit. use. Oh, it's a little a little poke is doing some damage. Oh crap. Oh snap. You should have kicked your ass days ago. A little poke. That's a major BS. That's a major BS right there. Like him. Major BS. Whoopsie. Not such a big man now, are you? Yeah. <laughs> You got nothing on me! Ooh. Okay, yeah, see, I guess neither of these are, like, the actual move I'm supposed to be using. So... Off of this is X. Even though, I swear, it doesn't feel like it's doing that much damage to him based on the insanely small bit of health he seems to lose when I actually do moves using the whip. It's very odd. Whoops. See, I feel like I actually can get him with something on that one. The poke. The poke is good. The poke is a great attack. I can, I can easily see that. Good one to beat, huh? Uh, that was odd. <laughs> like went in a totally different direction than I was expecting to. Yeah, so that is the way. So it's it'll just be the random the random punch move if you don't have one of the weapons, the specific weapon set. So that's interesting, but if you have the right, the weapon that you're supposed to have. Oh, severed. Get over here. Like going through all his different abilities. Rip them right off, huh? Too many. I spend too much time healing. Won't have enough time for power. No, one doesn't even have enough power to heal. Welcome to the top of the food chain. Intense sequence. I wish the button mash and X wasn't there. This would be a great shot. Um, for my thing. Oh, you just keep doing it for the uh, thumbnail, but it's got like everything on the top. <laughs> I might try to slow that scene down and try to use that for my thumbnail. but your own. You do understand that. I understand that I had a brother once, a boy named Alex. A boy that used to play games with me and go skating with me and watch scary movies with me. I understand that Alex is dead now. I am no longer bound by life or death, Dana. I can move beyond that. Heller has as well. He just doesn't realize it yet. It's really weird that they made him like a straight up villain because he was... He wasn't really like just the straight up villain in the first game and now he is. Like he's the one who caused the second outbreak to kill everyone off and destroy humanity and stuff. And it's just so weird that that's where they took it. and. The main character from the first game is dead now. Like, that's weird to me. Like, I like Alex. That's, this is nuts. <laughs> Holy crap. Guess he just sucked it all in. 
cleared it all out. James! Thank God. Maya. Maya. Are you all right? Probably probably could have thought about that going in. Like, you know what? Let me just toss this off and kind of hide the freak arms for a sec. But I'm sure it'll be fine. It won't make a difference. All I can hear is like the leather like stretching as he hugs her. Just like, what do we do now? Jesus Christ. Okay, well that was a surprising little thing. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Murder Your Maker? Question mark. You've completed this story. You can start a new game plus on the new insane difficulty level or continue exploring the open world to finish open world missions and complete collectible sets. That was weird. It was just like, huh. Super fast. All right. Well, since we do have time to just free roam because that was like 16 minutes, I really wish I knew how close I was. I would just put it with the other episode, but there is some actual other stuff that I can do, even though it's like totally irrelevant. But I'll hop around, do this little bit here, and then I'll end the episode. Because I'll still try to at least, I mean, it's at 17 minutes now, so I'll still try to at least make it like a... That's not going to work. I don't know why I was trying to do that. I probably took any help. Fist. Seriously, it's like the ultimate weapon in this game. Don't kill it. Oh, you've got to be effing kidding me. That really just pissed me off. Like, I was right there, and it was just stuck on top of this stupid effing invisible block, and I couldn't do it. Uh, yeah, might as well just hijack it. Kill everybody off and then just switch. It's, I'm, I'm mad now. Destroy everything that's in my way. Get all of them out of here. We got another couple of helicopters somewhere, oh, like super super far away. There we are. I can't see this one. That doesn't matter. Oh, would you look at that. Little wrong angle. There it is. Do 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 do. Hop out of here. Should. All right, I forgot. Don't have time to do it. It'll just do it. Uh, all enemies. I oh, might as well. Got. You know, not much else at this point. At the end of the game, anyway. So. So, to talk about the end of the game, I guess I should probably do that. That's something I can talk about in between uh, still being a little a little mad about what just happened there. Um, yeah. But, yeah, to talk about the end of the game and what I think about it and all that. Interesting ending. Um, admittedly, I, I'm not the biggest fan of them 
uh, having made seven murder convictions currently um, federal prison having made Mercer like the big bad villain of the game I just I don't know something about this like I like Alex Mercer from the first game and like I said before he wasn't necessarily like the bad guy it was the company it was Gentech and if I remember right I have to watch like that little recap thing again but if I remember right from the first game he was um, experimented on that was like the big thing with his character Oh, of course. I don't even have my powers. Nope. I'm not trying to. Wow. Oh, okay. Thanks. Came to me. I'm like, what is happening right now? I'm super confused. Uh. Do, 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 do. Let's go with that. But yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of them making Alex Mercer the big bad villain for this game. Definitely a crazy ending. This is pretty uh, juicy, sir. Very abrupt ending, a series I should of say. Command posts. I'm not one for suspense. But Intel about what? The very interesting. Deliveries. It's like we a, can shut Blackwatch down like they've been unplugged. Then go. Take it. It's like an odd way to... I, I don't know. It's an odd way to kind of wrap everything up, I guess. Specialist Dana, Mercer's goons are gonna make a try for some Black Watch munitions delivery. You know what they're talking about. Oh, yeah, Red Crown's been talking about it constantly. They're on three helicopters no. right here in the red zone, sending you the numbers. I'm on it. Last oh. thing I want is a bunch of a bomb with rocket launchers. Well, let's see how in the world this ends up playing out, shall we? Holy crap. I'm supposed to destroy. Well, I mean, I guess I'll do this. I'm kind of. I'm admittedly a bit annoyed that you can't even. Oh, well, that's fine too. I, I guess that totally works. Gotcha. Uh, crap. Uh, I forgot how to fucking drop. Stupid. There it is. I'm like, I forgot how to drop guns. Well, this is a weird way to do it, but interesting. I like this. I actually take down the helicopter myself. Helicopter your way. Oh, dang. Well. Space, this, is <laughs> now. this is odd. A weird way to do it, but boom, 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 and they're done. And it blows up. Little box. I don't think it even moved. I'm assuming they're gonna come after me. I feel like that's what's about to happen. Like this is, you know, me taking down. Oh. Oh. Is that supposed to be? Um... Well, I doubt it's supposed to be Alex, but. Take me a second to get there. We go. That's exactly what I was looking for. Got it in a little bit closer, and no, we missed. Where are you, helicopter? Nope. Ah, there it is. I think I should have. Uh, I'm trying to like land on the thing so I can. There we are. And then we just blast it to pieces. <laughs> oh, where's my guns? Oh, BS. Come on now. That's not exactly the move I wanted, but uh, whatever. The poke of death. Actually, I didn't realize that gave me, um... Back up. See, it doesn't do anything when you do it that way. Nice. That's really gonna piss Alex off. 
simple. Now we go to a stronghold. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I actually like that. It was a nice little change of formula where, you know, we destroy the helicopter ourselves and then, you know, we, we head on out to, um, head on out to, uh, collect it right after. So that was kind of cool. I like that. I do wish I got to keep the little, uh, the, the rocket though. And then I just got to take on the, uh, the evolved guy with the rocket launcher and just light him up and then it's like yep he's dead now that's done and that was super fast he's dead i wonder how many side missions there are that are actually left because i feel like i i have actually gone across the board and legitimately Foster, taken them down Tech senior virologist cricket champion and member of mensa what a douchebag. Across the city. Wonderful mm. miss, dude. I feel like, oddly enough, <laughs> like I, I feel like um, I want to talk more about the ending, but I feel like there's not much I can really say. I mean, fought the dog. He's totally, um, clearly. Yeah, I'm like, clearly he's going to be, um, And evolve. Yeah. Oh, defeated. <laughs> like, oh, defeated. That was fast. Maximum, maximum carnage there. I understand all these measures to deal with the bad guys, Lieutenant, but as I think you can see, I am not a bad guy. I mean, why am I not allowed outside? These security measures are for your benefit, Dr. Foster. Now, I'll thank you to step back behind the court. I'll do no such thing. My office is literally next door, and I see no reason why I... I think I'll step back. <laughs> like, I, regret I think I shall step back now. Whew, I needed that. Hey. It's Dana. You're not gonna like this. Gentech's been doing experiments at a nearby lab. Some kind of blacklight variant. One that targets unborn children. Tell me what she is. Coordinates coming to you now. Looks like there's two people in charge. A scientist named Vandiver and a Blackwatch commander named Chapin. That's real dark. Real dark. I love that that's in the cutscene. Oh god! Red Crown, this is Killback! Base Hotel 2 That's a cool name, Killback. Base security is I am going to go for you. Guess I'll just walk on in. No, I'm in. I'm in. I'm greedy. I need those powers. Oh, whoopsie. Not this time. Not this time, please. Oh, thank goodness. Whip this dude in half. Oh, sweet. Oh, man. My tendrils. Ooh. Very nice. Just gonna whip through some people real quick. Yeah, during that mission, they definitely, like, upgraded my powers exponentially. Like, I was just whipping through these guys. I guess I could go for some help. Gonna have to leave and come back, because I'm definitely busted. Area. Do, 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 do. Oh. I don't know if that was intentional. I would assume it's not intentional. But that was definitely a, a nice little shock. I, I mean, not nice. It was a shock. <laughs> Okay, the scientists and commander are in there somewhere. Yeah. Dr. Vandiver, please report to the lab. I think I got one of them. I'm excited. 
do this without an alert. And we have a, I don't know how this person is not being um, seen as they're walking directly towards them. But that's astonishing. Oh wait, do I kill this dude? I, I don't know if that matters. Ah, that, oh wait. Mm, okay. Oh, this is like where I had that stupid freaking boss battle from the beginning of the game that I hated. Hmm. Stays there. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so the door is open, but whatever. Whatever. Whoops. Nope. Nope. Ah, there we go. Oh, of course. This is too important. Let you screw it up. Whoops. Eller, did you take out Vandiver and Chapin? Vandiver, yeah. Chapin, in a minute. Turns out he's involved. Oh, no. If Alex is involved with his experiments, then uh. this could be a lot worse than it looks. Oh, this dude is really getting on my nerves. Like, he's, like, interrupting the whole fight that we're having. Oh. This will give me some story and some help. Great. I would love to know what the heck was going on there. Like, could I have walked to the door? And it just opened. Oh. I am mad though. I, I am mad. I am mad that that happened. I throw one punch. Boom! Full on red alert. So that kind of sucks. Yay! <laughs> it's like, oh my god, what's happening? Well, I guess they're not aiming at me. Jungle got go ballistic. Timber shirt, yes, please. Whoopsie. <laughs> I did not see that one coming. That is not at all what I was trying to do. I just thought if I press B while close to the helicopter, he would simply get into the helicopter. That is. That's it. That was the intent of that. I think my battery, yeah, my battery is at 7% right now. Not sure how much longer it's really gonna last. Oh, the attack is just like rolling on its own. Dang. <laughs> I just like elbow the tree. Nature. No. That was really hurt. That made me mad. What? That one got me. <laughs> uh, whoops. This. Uh, 
Sorry that took so long. That was... Start a bit map again. Still do not understand this. Like, why wouldn't he just stay in cost? Stay camouflaged or whatever. Dana, I just got a call from this Black Watch asshole. Who I know. I was listening in. He's one of several tank commanders in Mako Company. Sending love. <sighs> I love that I just shattered the glass. Can I just lift this? I cannot. Uh, let's see. Taken care of. Destroy the tanks. Oh, that should be super easy. Just gonna hop over it. Oh, it's the crane. I'm like, what is that thing? I thought it was like a laser was already pointing on me. I'm like, this is so far away. Not what I meant. Need right here. Let's do some hammer fist action. Take them all down. Shit, shit, shit. Oh. That was oddly convenient. No, you know. Oh, of course. You really do care about these humans. Again. <laughs> and he's bolting too, of course. Uh you know what you are? A waste of precious resources. Going right in my face. I'm supposed to take you seriously? I seem like it actually went really, really far. Guess this is where our fight. Nope, I was wrong. Nope, is this where we fight? Did he go out? Thank goodness. I should just land. It's gonna be like a cutscene or something anyway. It always is. I think he's stuck. <laughs> oh, you know what? I got it. That should do some some sort of damage at least. He's effing stuck. He's stuck. Because you're not allowed, which is dumb, really dumb, to do like any sort of damage to the characters. So stupid. That's that's so dumb. How'd you get this number? I'm just really annoyed by that. I'm a super freaking annoyed because I always wondered, I was like, can you do damage to them as you're chasing them? I just always assumed I'm missing. And that's why I never did any damage to them. I was always missing. But then it's like, nope. You are simply not allowed to damage them until you chase them to wherever the, the random little video is going to take place. Which I think is really dumb. Because it's like, what's the point of that? If you can get some damage in, it helps you out. And it's not like the cutscenes matter. All they do is say some random stupid 
one-off little thing to like insult you and then that's it and you just keep you fight them and then you kill them like there's like no real semblance of what the f was that there's like no real actual semblance of usefulness wow that did like no damage it was not nearly as useful as i was expecting it to be I should just destroy them. Then I can just flat out destroy this one because I got the finish removed. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> oh, come on. That's another thing, it's like it you couldn't really just care about these couldn't just switch. Really? Uh, here we go again. I got real scared for a second. We're I was like, oh, he's already hitting something. There he goes. <laughs> Big bad James Heller. What a fucking joke! Okay. Maybe I did hit him. Maybe that's what happened the last time. I actually did hit him. And then... It just screwed the whole game up. Like, whoa, we got him. He touched him. I don't You're know what to do end, now. Heller. Maybe You're that's obsolete. what happened. When will you realize that? I'm just annoyed. I'm super annoyed with this. I'm like, it's just, it serves no purpose to not be able to do any damage to them I'm as you're to chasing you them seriously? down. And of course, we now know officially that you can't damage them because of him being caught in like that little glitch and I couldn't do anything. And now it's just like, oh, is this it? No, it's not. Please let this be it. Thank goodness. I was like, it's such an odd thing. It's so weird to me. I thought he was going to jump through. I, I thought that was going to be really cool. My battery's at 1% now as well. All I have to do is leap on myself right there. Well, it says I caught a big one of the achievement I just got. Alright, well, it's clearly falling a little fast there. bit harder to maneuver. But if he wants to be an idiot, that would be great. Easy. Just the chase that lasted a hundred million effing years. Big man are using only claws and hammer fists. No more time for subtlety then. Okay. Don't know why, but you know, why not? This, this will probably be the last effing thing I actually do with this game, so. <laughs> it's like, I might as well. Might as well go for that, that final challenge. Man, he is dying fast. Got each you. Squish. Is at less than one percent now. It's got like the battery just with cross right through it. Oh dang! I didn't have any of these. I didn't do like any. I missed a billion side missions. Conspicuous. Uh, None of this matters. I don't know why I'm even bothering this. Uh, so, uh, weaponized. Has to be seventy-five percent faster. Big bang. Ten percent more explosive. Okay. Twenty-five percent faster. That's cool too. But I guess I'll go with that. That's one phone tap taken care of. Good work. Like a nice no massive explosion. Cool. Well, there's another side mission there. Um, mm, 
I'm debating if I want to end the episode now because like my camera won't last uh, the next 15 minutes anyway. If I do go the full hour, I know that for sure it won't last the whole way through. But I'm like, does it really matter for this? Like, do I even want to keep going? Just kind of, you know, playing around doing side missions and kind of going nuts with the game a little bit. I am surprised, um, as far as like the game ending, I am a bit surprised that you don't actually go backwards to any of the other locations. Like you only go forward, like you go to the next level or the next uh, area of the map in the next area. But like once we get to the red zone, that's it. Like we stay here for the rest of the game, which isn't a really big chunk. I think we've technically only been here for like maybe three episodes and that's it. And it probably would have been uh, less than that if I wasn't doing side missions. Excuse me, but it's just interesting. It's like story, main story wise, excuse me, it, it truly is the end. It's just like, all right, here you go. And then you're done. And there's no part of the story that really leads you backwards or anything like that. And you know, it's not to say that that would have made it like amazing or anything like that. I was just kind of surprised like, oh, you really get here. And then this is truly, um, you know where the game actually ends at is like in, in the red zone the last zone you go to it's all over okay. so i'm gonna do this officially um and then this will be it that'll be it for the game this will probably take up the next 15 minutes anyway or probably a little bit beyond that i, I would imagine Oh, this is actually like quite a few things. Uh, Red Crown, this is crossbow two one. I might not actually do this. And ready for capture, over. Copy two oh, one. Like Proceed with capture and prepare for Gentech team insertion. Over. Don't know about that. Capture a Goliath. This I gotta see. You know what? We will see it. Well, I'll at least watch this because I am actually curious how that's supposed to look. But I don't think I'm gonna go through with this whole thing. Oh. Copy hollow point. Maintain security right. on the specimen until Gentech arrives to take uh, So there goes the Over. camera. The battery did not officially die, but there's no point in turning it back on because it's going to be like. Um, crap, I totally lost my train. <laughs> it only lasts for like another couple minutes, so there'd be no point in doing that. And considering I'm about to end it, there's no point in like switching out the batteries like I normally do when the battery actually dies. So we'll see how horrible this goes for these idiots. And then uh, that'll be it. Engage, engage. Oh, that was it. Just defeat the Goliath. Okay, yeah. So I'm definitely going to end it. All right. Hopefully this works. Hope you guys enjoyed um, this final episode for Prototype 2. I really wanted to see them actually capture it. So I was like, eh. Um, but yeah, that's it. I, it's just side missions. I really don't care. That's I'm probably never going to end up touching this game again. Maybe not for a super, super long time. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this final episode. Would love to know what you guys think about the story. Um, how things ended. You know, them making Mercer like a full-on villain and then him flat out dying. And it's like, that's it. There's one and two. And then it seemed like it was completely gone. They could, well, the company, I believe, is gone now, Radical. Uh, but they could, you know, probably could have made a third game where someone else develop the virus you know something random like that but interesting ending very abrupt with like what do we do now it seemed like she almost didn't even finish that sentence before it actually cut to the end uh, very abrupt it's just like dead and then we live our lives uh maybe i don't know how things would have played out for heller being like both of them actually heller and mercer dana mercer being like tracked down all the time but interesting ending i certainly a cool ending boss fight i like the fact that you have to switch it up and use the different abilities i thought that was actually kind of cool and a, a really nice way to do that but all in all fun game um don't know if i like it more than the first one just mostly character wise um and that was kind of a thing when the game first came out i was like oh you know he all he does is really swear like heller and that's kind of true and it's just like it seems like he's just angry and there was no real depth to the character like with mercer i felt like there's at least a little bit more like he's much calmer so like you see it in a different way it's not just f-bombs and stuff and i started to calm down with those dramatic moments that i did enjoy and they did some cool stuff like rook um killing in two guards and be like just take your daughter and you know leave because you know he they kind of had that mutual thing where he's about to get killed and heller's like crap he has a daughter too and i can't do that to him and then rook kind of returned the favor even though he didn't know he did um 
Or maybe he did, because he did see his reflection in the phone, and when he turned around, he thought it was the other dude. So maybe that's, you know, part of where he kind of got it was like, crap, he could have killed me right there. Maybe he was about to, um, but he didn't. So yeah, I, I like that. I like those ending moments. That That's really it. They had some good stuff, you know, of course, with the father when he actually gets killed, emotional weight once again. But those ending moments were pretty cool, story-wise. Everything else was just him swearing and hating everybody, so it was just like, eh. And then the vampire chick. Um, really looked like a vampire to me. She did the whole vampire thing. Like, I want to bang you and stuff. And it was like, oh, you betrayed me. And now I'm going back to him. And then she totally got killed because he absorbed everybody. Weird. Um, interesting ending. But we'd love to know what you guys thought about it, of course. We'd love to know what you guys thought about this final episode in general. So please put your comments down in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for joining me.